decision having a ripple effect on vacation plans and local businesses. And Alex Hagan explains for us. Alex. Well, Michael, the DEP is testing the algae here at Peanut Island. Unclear when those results will be back. Meanwhile, the no swim advisory is really forcing a lot of people to change their 4th of July plans. It's just a bad, bad situation. Hopefully they're going to get it taken care of. Blue-green algae shutting down swimming at the popular Peanut Island is impacting holiday plans left and right. Jim McClung now has to find a new place to swim. Good Lord, 4th of July, everybody likes to come to the beach. Anthony Brown visiting from Georgia is second-guessing snorkeling tomorrow close to the island. I really don't know how it'll affect me. But it may be Dean Ernst, most affected owner of Paddle Away Sports. He had to cancel a snorkeling tour for his customers tonight. And this is one of my favorite events to host, so I, I was as disappointed as them probably. Now he's concerned for future tours at the island if more algae forms. Even only one cup, that puts us at a 1% chance. To me, that's more risk than I'm willing to take. The No Swim Advisory confirmed many residents and tourists fears this weekend about the algae. Hours before the announcement of the No Swim Advisory, Palm Beach County leaders announced all local waters were algae free. We do have 47 miles of beaches in this area. And so, as of this time, it's absolutely safe. Our beaches are clean. Jorge Vizcarra, president of Discover the Palm Beaches, issued a statement later this evening saying, We stand by our previous statements that Palm Beach County Oceanside beaches are safe for recreational activities this 4th of July weekend. Meanwhile, Ernst hopes this is the last no swim advisory he hears this summer. The issue has progressed. It doesn't seem that it's been addressed the way that it should. Hopefully, they're going to, you know, moving forward do something about it because it's going to affect a lot of small businesses in the area. Now it is unclear how long this no swim advisory will remain in effect. Reporting live tonight in Riviera Beach, Alex Hagan, WP.